Richard Bennett. This is Indy Riders, and I'm here with author Walter Harvey. And we're going to discuss his screenplay, uh, Magi. Is that the name of it? Well, the name of the screenplay is Magi's Feather, actually. That's Magi's the Feather. working name of the screenplay, yeah. Okay. Now, this was the first thing you wrote, right? <laughs> it was the first thing I wrote before I wrote these two books. Uh, I wrote the screenplay, like, like I said, called the Magi's Feather. Uh, who is Magi? Magi is a mouse. He's a little mouse. In fact, among the mice, he's the smallest of all the mice. So in a world of very large creatures, he's the smallest one. So this is like uh, fiction. Yeah, oh, it's completely <laughs> fiction. And, and, in my, and the inspiration for it was to tell the story of the nativity uh, story, the birth of Jesus, through the eyes of all the animals that participate in the story that night. Oh, okay. Uh, I ran across one character that I really liked, and his name was Jandak. <laughs> Tell me about Jandak. <laughs> Jandak is, is one of the wise men's camel, uh, Balthazar's camel to be exact, and he's the fastest camel in the kingdom, and he wins all these camel races, and uh, he uh, is... He's surrounded by magical, mystical winds everywhere he goes. And I won't tell you what that means, but you can figure it out. He's a smelly camel. Uh, now, tell us about Herod. Oh, well, everyone knows the story of Herod being the king uh, during the time of the birth of Jesus. And uh, obviously, he's a bad guy. And in this book, he's a very, and in the screenplay, rather, he's a very bad guy uh, who sends assassins out to kill the three wise men. Now, how about the, what was the cat's name? Cat's name, he was Herod too. Okay. <laughs> Herod the cat too, sorry, yeah, I forgot that there are two Herods in the book. I named Herod the cat Herod because he's a bad cat. <laughs> and he's always trying to catch Magi. He's all, it's Tom and Jerry Bible style. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you write this uh, to be a cartoon or? Uh... I did, I wrote it uh, originally thinking about an animated feature film or something like that. So yeah, it's, it's really designed uh, to be a family film uh, about the birth of, of, uh, of Jesus. Now, why do the mice and rats hate each other? Well, that's... Uh, a, I mean, that's, they're both rodents. Yeah. <laughs> well, rats are just nasty creatures, I think, to most people. So I, and they're bigger than mice. Uh, so I had not kind of be the, the evil, you know, big brother to the mice. And I needed a counterbalance to the the good and evil in the story, and so they're the they're the bad guys. Now, what was that that rat's the head rat's name? The head he, rat's he had, name. He had a good name, and it just slips in my mind. Uh, for, it's uh, Lothar. Lothar, like yeah. And it, <laughs> Lothar is actually the name of a character in a Disney movie called The Rocketeer, which I didn't even realize, didn't even think about until after I had Lothar. written it that there, he's the same name as the bad guy in <laughs> the, the Rocketeer. Yeah, I, what comes to mind with me is Lex Luthor. Well, that yeah. too. In a way, I think I kind of thought of that when I came up with that name, but who knows? Uh, when are you going to have this ready for publication? Well, the screenplay is out and it's available, and we've showed it to some people and are still showing it around, and uh, we think it'll make a really good film someday. What would you like to tell the general audience? Wow. Uh, <laughs> the screenplay, I think, is really fun. Uh, it's unique for sure. Uh, and it tells, like I said, the story of uh, the birth of Jesus from the viewpoint of the animals. And it tries to teach some some uh, life truths, like, you know, the smallest creature has the biggest heart, and that's really what matters. You know, uh, that at the end of the day, he realizes that he's he's taken the money from Mary and Joseph, and that's why when they get to the end, they don't have any money. Not because they didn't, but because this little mouse chews a hole in their coin purse and the money falls on the road so he can pay for his rent and give it to the rats. <laughs> so that's kind of what starts this whole spiraling out of control, and Mary and Joseph get to the end and there's no room. Well, there was room. They just didn't have enough money. And so, you know, that's kind of my take on this story, if you will. Well, it'll be out, and you'll see it. I hope so. Someday, <laughs> I really do. It's a great story.